The Chinese mathematician Megu Quan posed the following problem in 1960. Given a weighted graph G, find a minimum weight tour that traverses each edge at least once. The paper was translated into English in 1962, and the problem is now known as the Chinese postman problem. Now, if G is Eulerian, then any Euler circuit solves the Chinese postman problem. But what if G is not Eulerian? First, an obligatory joke. How does a mathematician screw with a light bulb? They give it to two campers, thereby reducing it to the previous joke. This joke explains two things, why HBO won't return my calls, and how mathematicians approach many problems. Since we know how to solve the problem for an Eulerian graph, can we make a graph Eulerian by adding edges? Remember, a graph is Eulerian if every vertex has an even degree. If a vertex has an odd degree, we can make it even by adding an edge. Adding edges between vertices not already connected would require building new roads, so we need to duplicate an existing edge. So if we have a graph like this, let's make it Eulerian. The graph would be Eulerian if every vertex had an even degree, but we notice that vertices D and A have odd degree. So if we duplicate the existing edge between them, the degrees of both will become even. Or consider a graph like this. So vertices D and F have odd degree, but there's no edge between them, so we can't duplicate an edge that doesn't exist. On the other hand, we could duplicate DE, and so now E and F have odd degree, and we duplicate EF, and now all vertices have even degree. So suppose G has exactly two vertices of odd degree. We can make it Eulerian by duplicating the edges along a path from the two vertices of odd degree. This increases the degree of the first and last vertex by 1, making both even degree, and increases the degrees of the intermediate vertices by 2, keeping them of even degree, then an Euler circuit will exist. Well, let's try to solve the Chinese postband problem for this graph. Note the total weight of the edges is 54, and so we could make the graph Eulerian by duplicating the edges D, E, E, F. This would increase our weight by 21. But can we do better? Let's give the problem to two campers. To make the graph Eulerian, we need to add a path between the vertices of odd degree but we want our total weight to be as small as possible, so we want our path to have the least possible weight. And we already know how to do that. Using Dijkstra's algorithm, we find the least weight path between D and F to be... So we'll duplicate those edges making our graph Eulerian, and giving us the least weight solution. The obvious strategy, if there are more than two odd vertices, find all pairs where i and j are odd vertices, find the minimum cost path between them, and then choose the pairs that minimize the total cost. This works, but... You might ask how many. Suppose there are ten odd vertices. The first pairing will be between any vertex and one of the nine others. The second pairing 
will be between any remaining vertex and one of the seven others. The third pairing will be between any remaining vertex and one of the five others. The fourth pairing between any remaining vertex and one of the three others. And the fifth pairing will be between the last two remaining vertices for a total of 945 pairings. And in general, if there are two n vertices, there are a lot of pairings to check. This number grows very rapidly. So is there a better way? We'll take a look at that later.